Harvest Honey here with today's Mile High Marijuana Minute. And our subject of today is obtaining your medical marijuana license here in the state of Colorado. Uh, there's going to be a few steps. First one's obviously going to be residency. So you'll have to have a driver's license, pay stub, uh, electric bill, something along those lines to prove that this is in fact home. Uh, we're also going to need you to go to a doctor and get a checkup through a physician that's willing to write a medical marijuana recommendation. You have to have, a, there's a list of different, what they call debilitating conditions that qualify. Uh, it ranges between like arthritis, cancer, uh, hepatitis, uh, HIV, AIDS, uh, epilepsy, uh, Crohn's disease, chronic pain, pretty much anything that has to do with severe amounts of pain. Uh, they'll all qualify. Unfortunately, uh, here in Colorado, PTSD doesn't qualify yet for medical marijuana. For whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, but you have to go in, see your doctor. They fill out the paperwork. Uh, somebody has to notarize it. You send the two forms in, one of which is just your application, and the other one is your uh, doctor's visit. Uh, you send both of those forms in, a copy of those with the, uh, a copy of your ID or you know your pay stubs or whatever it is that you're utilizing to uh, provide residency on top of an identification and then you send it in. Uh, you send it through the mail, you have to send it certified mail so we can have that little green slip where you can track the, that number. Uh, once you've sent it in and it's verifiable that it is in fact in the mail and it's in route, uh, you have 35 days to shop with that temporary paperwork. You can shop Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, it's only the hours that the health department is open. They're supposed to verify, the centers actually verify that you know you haven't been denied yet. It's a recording when you call, but nonetheless, it's, uh, you know, go through the motions. So you will be able to shop for 35 days. Once your red card arrives, you can shop during normal business hours. It's 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Sunday. Uh, if the store is open, uh, or 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., excuse me, the, the losses you can be open as early as 8. I, I have yet to see any centers that are, but you can if you want to. Uh, but so you will go ahead and, you know, have your temporary paperwork. Right now the state's at about five weeks uh, for the return on your red card. So I always tell people, you know, stock up at the end of your 35 days just in case. And once your red card arrives, you just bring that with you every time. Same thing with temporary paperwork. Bring it with you every time you come in. Um, with your ID, you have to always have a valid ID to come in as well. But yeah, that's the gist of how to get your medical marijuana license here in the state of Colorado. Stay high, friends.